Hello and welcome to InfoCast, Stealthy here, and uh, today is a quick update. I'm going to be editing the playlist live and then just going through some articles I was reading about, and of course the Game Awards. Alright, so I was literally just looking through this and I got a lot of stuff that isn't even used anymore, but it's a lot of clutter, and the other problem I have with it is that it doesn't always show the latest playlist of the latest video I add usually you got to go to the home <clears throat> you got to go to the home here and then see the latest playlist with the latest video that's if i have a playlist for it so anyways the other way to see it is clicking on playlist and sorting it by the latest video and then as you see here there's that video with the deer um so yeah let's clean up this clutter and i'm going through it live here with you guys Basically, this is what I would do if I'm working on the channel. <clears throat> okay, so obviously Dragon Flight is newer content. We had a latest uh, Hangout chat. It was really just a little highlight of the Game Awards. Destiny, still playing that. God of War, that's pretty recent. Infocast, that's this. Okay, Lich King, Classic. So basically everything on the first page is more recent, so it's going to stay. Even uh, the WoW content, like I got right here, Shadowlands, it's more recent. But even if, like I got Battle for Azeroth, I know some people might want to go back, see how it was back then, and see the story. So I'm going to keep those. Resident Evil, that was more recent. Classic. I might still have classic content in the future because that's still ongoing. Task Force. Task Force is really tricky. Like, this game died out, but supposedly it's supposed to come back this holiday and go back on sale on Steam. Well, actually, we can, we can check that live right now. Oh, but there's no way for me to see if it's on sale because I already own it. Unless we go through online websites. And let me just get rid of these bookmarks. They kind of annoy me that I'm constantly showing my personal bookmarks. Not that anyone cares. So obviously, I'm not going to go back and edit. I just prefer not to see it. So we're going to type in Task Force Steam. All right. <clears throat> and as you can see here, it still says Early Access and... I don't know. It, yeah, it should show a price even though I'm not signed in. Let's go. Well, this is a bad example, but at least you can see you can play the game where there's no play button. So the developers took it off to try and take advantage of the holiday season and uh, and try to sell it during the holiday season. And if it's successful, then they'll continue creating content. But what sucks is once they remove that play button or that buy button they ultimately just killed off the game because no one else wanted to play anymore like i went back on there after a month and it was just completely dead so i'm keeping this playlist until at least january i might remove it in january after the new year if it's no longer active and no one's playing it and by the way i noticed the arm up here it's intentional. intentional, I'm leaving it like that for now. I can get it out of the way, but I don't know. I don't feel like it. All right, Counter-Strike, okay. Here's a game I haven't played in a long time, but recently I put a video on there. Let's see, I, I don't think anyone's watching Counter-Strike anymore. On my On my channel, obviously. Obviously, they're still watching it everywhere else, but I don't really know if I should let this one go. I do have some very old, old school videos that would be a, a lot of searching just to see them again. And you know what? Yeah, like, let's just go through one more and see the view count. Yeah, it's it's not worth it. I mean, I guess I could remake it one day, but if it were popular somehow, this channel, towards esports games, 
And this is what this is my favorite one too. I used to love using the op, but it's gotta go. So one thing I have no clue about is how do you even delete now? Because back when I did this, it was uh, a totally different like smaller box boxes, small box screen or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's right here. Delete playlist. And we're going to get rid of it. Okay. And no need to refresh yet. Burning Crusade Classic. There's not going to be anything else coming out on that. But if anyone wants to see how it is. I mean, they might do a season of the mastery. But who knows. Diablo is still going to put content in there. Diablo 4 is coming out. Overwatch. I don't. I haven't been playing Overwatch 2. I don't like it. So I'm not going to play it. I tried the beta as you can see here. Um, if something changes my mind, I guess I could keep this. It depends. I mean, they're coming out with some single player content. Maybe I might play some co-op. I'll let it hang here for now. Alden Ring, obviously, is still blowing up on my channel. <laughs> and then uh, Video Game Tributes. These are uh, old school type of videos back uh, when YouTube first launched a lot of people were making attaching music to videos sort of like a music video for games um, this one's pretty old and I still make one for whenever a new World of Warcraft game comes out so and they're, they're popular on here so I'll keep it um, unboxing hardware yeah I, I could always come unbox something else Last thing we had was the Amazon Luna controller, and then before that was Steam Deck. Horizon. Uh, I didn't beat the game yet. I did start playing it a little here and there. I'm not going to put the whole game on there. I might just put boss battles, and it'll just be boss battle content. Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did have some Horizon Part 1 content on here, which is cool. I did platinum that game, by the way. All right, so next page. How many pages are on here? Uh, 21 out of 30, it says. Guardians of the Galaxy. This one is definitely getting deleted. The view count has been terrible ever since day one. Obviously, I don't blame anyone for never watching these. I would not want to watch these. I would want to experience the game and the story. Which is really good. It's a really good game. Recommend it if you haven't played it. But there goes that playlist. <clears throat> Podcast. I know we stopped. And what do we have here? 2021. Let me raise. Let's see if I raise this a little. There we go. Hello. All right, now it's a little closer. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, this was the podcast. We stopped doing it in 2021. You see our Game of the Year episode there. Um, I'm going to keep it just as a uh, nice memory. And you never know. You never know if we ever start doing it again or not. Obviously, we'd have to start on Season 4. Continue there. Or maybe we'll create a whole new podcast. Who knows? Rainbow Six. Okay. It's another one of those, like, Counter-Strike. But then again, it looks like I put some extraction in here. What it looks like. Oh, yeah. No one's interested. Get rid of that. Halo. Still Halo Infinite. I mean, there's some content in there from the uh, single player. I read a comment the other day. Someone was happy that I posted it, but... Ah, here it is. Ah, yeah, 264. I helped some people find their the objective. I'll, I'll keep Halo. Back for Blood. Uh, there's still some DLC I'm going to play on there. It's not really hitting as a game, but I'll still put it on there when I beat it. And then anything a lot newer, besides uh, obviously Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, I'll most likely keep it. Marvel Avengers, I know 
player count drop drastically. Uh, I'm still going to go back and play some of these DLCs. I don't know if I'm going to continue recording them. I recorded the first mission here. This game never hit, by the way. I don't know. I, I might end up deleting this later. New World. Okay. I barely put any content for this, but I did play it a lot longer than what it looks like. I never hit max, but I was close. Alright, at least I got I got stuck cutting down trees and maxing that and then got, uh, just doing all the professions. That's why I didn't really level. Maybe I got to 30 out of 50 at the time, but yeah, I'll definitely go back to that. So I'll keep that playlist running. But obviously there's nothing good about it. Unless you want to see how the, how I started. Uh, retro gaming, we got three videos now because I recently edited all the other ones that were live plays. Live retro plays and I removed them into into DG play. And just set this here for like either full playthroughs like flying whole playthrough all of Aladdin. Or just demoing games that haven't been played in so long or if they're remade. We, we retry them, post some video here. If anyone would like to watch them. So I'm going to keep that. That's one of our main content videos. Gaming service content. So this was uh, Flying Ho, I think. <laughs> Did Flying Ho tell me about this one? Maybe we try all the gaming services and recommend some games on here. But uh, it, it wasn't making it too well. So I think it's just sort of sitting there. And we don't have plans to do anything else with it. So get rid of that. Swords of Legends. Saw uh, Flying Hole played that. I was supposed to try it again. I don't see myself getting this game. So, hmm. I mean, if I ever play it again, I'll put the list back together. But I don't think it's really popular. So let's hit back, see if everything refreshed. Maybe we click on posts. Um, back to page one. Page two, it looks like something's refreshed. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh no, what the heck? Okay. So it just takes some time to update here. Okay, so we did Swords of Legends. Moving on. Uh, top top list. We actually uh, we got three videos in the works on this one. Um, uh, most antip anticipated game. Our game of the year. I'm going to make a list out of it. And then there was uh, Retro Gaming. We, we had a few picks probably a year ago, but it, w it just wasn't edited yet. Uh, Far Cry content. Okay, I have Far Cry 6. And I remember I started doing this in Primal. There was one year I played all the Far Cries, beat them, but they didn't start recording till Primal. I didn't beat 6 yet. That's the latest one. I do own it, but I'm not going to record what I play. Um, and I just don't want Far Cry there. It's just. At this point, it's not going to be relevant. It's been a year. Oh, there is some new DLC that was recently announced, but by the time I play it, will will not be. And I probably won't get it, actually. I was looking through it. It's, it's interesting, but just not interesting to me. Division. We got anything with a lot of videos like this game as a service. I us usually tend to go back. This game, I played it to its core and then for some reason stopped and did not beat the raid. I don't know why I should have done it, but... I don't know if I'll go back to it or if part 3 comes out. If there's a part 3, but I'm keeping it for now. Returnal, still get views from that. Monster Hunter, I did see recently because it released on Steam. There were some views. Um, this was played on Switch, though. Outriders, I got the DLC on there to finish. I'm not going to pay full price for that game that DLC I read on there it's like two hours and they're asking for like forty dollars forty five or something no forty dollars and I can always of course steam right here 
And I did really enjoy Outriders. It's just that when I went back to play the end game, it was dead. The player count was just not there. And then they released World Slayer upgrade, and there you go. I mean, it cost exactly the same amount as the main game. Like, no, no, it is. And just go through the comments. I mean, you can, you can see here people are upset about it. And, it. and I know I usually play a game without listening to the comments. I'll see it for myself, but mostly negative. Th this is a turn off to want to fork down forty dollars for an expansion. Two more maps, three more bosses, massive waste. And everyone's saying the same thing. Two to three hours of gameplay. Yeah. Not, I won't get this. Unless if I find it on sale. Ten bucks, I would say it's w probably worth getting. It seems like. but. And I did enjoy the game. The main game was really fun. I actually paid for it too when it was available on Game Pass. I went and got it on Steam. And I'm kind of glad I did. I did get a few good hours in there. And we did get a lot of views from there. So it's all complete right here. 57 videos. I just didn't add the DLC. Never got back to it. And I probably will one day. But I'll leave it for the, for now. Cyber Shadow. That was a year ago. I think it's run its course. And of course, all these videos are still available, whether or not you uh, had a chance to see them. The Medium. I enjoyed this game. I was hoping we'd get some DLC or a sequel. I don't want to delete it yet in case there's a sequel announced. I'd like to include it. I know they're working on Silent Hill now. So, uh, and I didn't really get a lot of views out of this one, but... We'll keep it for now. I think we had just like one video here with four <coughs> 4K ray tracing. Yeah, almost hit 200. And I know that's not still not a lot, but <laughs> I still I still I'm happy about that. Gears content. It's one of my favorite uh, for multiplayer games. But I haven't played in forever. And it looks like I started on Gears 4. I wish I wish back then I was able to record. I would have had video after video of this game. Getting the full thousand achievements. And I actually stopped at Gears 4. Because of how ridiculous it was with the loot boxes. And then you look at the list at 5. It's like come on. I know 3 was ridiculous and I actually did it. But th I did have time back then. But I'm going to keep Gears content for now, and then I think they got Gears 6 probably in the works. We'll see what happens. And recently they had DLC, if I remember correctly. Did I not record it? Hive Busters, yup. Oh, and this, uh, this was an idea, but never went through. I don't watch most, much uh, sports. A lot of... Uh, the personalities you see on District Gamers, on DG, they they watch a lot of sports. So that's always up to them. But at this point, there hasn't been... And this was like a three-minute clip. But one thing I like about it is the intro. really nice intro you never know might come back but <coughs> for now it's gone alrighty what else we got Hitman oh I loved Hitman that was such a good game I'll keep it I'm sure they got something in works for probably Hitman 4 or something uh DG Gold, oh, Th this, isn't, this is one of our old main content, 
anyone ever wants to go back and see the uh, Smash Brothers tournament we held, it's really nice. We never ended up getting, uh, it was supposed to be Basam versus Zexy Haas. We are going to constantly have like tournaments and things, but then I think at the time the pandemic happened and everyone mostly stayed at home, stopped hanging out as much as we used to. So that's staying anyways. There's nothing further coming to this. At least not to my knowledge. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King content retail. Okay, so this is some stuff I would put playing Lich King dungeons or doing raids through retail. I'm going to delete that because of Lich King Classic, which is more relevant. Game glitches, they're always fun to look at. Um, I've ran into a few glitches, but I don't think I've been adding them to this list. Last time, it looks like two years ago with Cyberpunk. But you never know, hey, maybe the DLC comes out and has a few glitches once again. <laughs> I'll keep adding, I'll start adding games, game glitches to this list. Um, gameplay videos from past to 2020. So this was a large list of 125 videos. And it was mostly going to be a list of games that don't have a playlist. But then I just stopped in 2020. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Let's see. It looks like how many? 125. Yeah. Which is good, I mean, but it's very old now. Demon Souls, that's PS5. Phasmophobia, I stopped playing that a long time ago. Can get rid of that. Uh, VR Gaming, this one I can leave. Um, I might... I might post some videos of Resident Evil 4 and, oh, the recent game I was playing on there, which was a mod, Half-Life 2, and brought back a lot of good memories, and it was it actually worked. It, it didn't work as good as Half-Life Alex, but it worked. So I might post some videos of some Half-Life 2. Uh, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout is going. I know there's more stuff and it's a fun game, but no one's playing it here at DG. Fortnite, also very old. I do want to try it again. I don't know if I'll record vid a video of it. I might. And I know it's a very popular game, but I'll let it sit for now. Originally, we were going to have someone be playing and posting new videos of that, but that never happened oh and we still got more I thought I was at the end alright we got Final Fantasy 14 content where did I leave off on that uh -huh. so I beat the first game up to level 50 and there's plenty of DLC and I will be recording stuff for this game because it's a popular game and it's like uh, it's as good as WoW obviously my favorite is WoW so so I mean I'm going to tell you WoW is better but I still enjoy this game. I'll, I'm going to keep the list there. Battle for Azeroth, like I was saying earlier. Anyone wants to go back, see the story. This is where I started recording the story. Because I just saw it to the side of my eye. Legion content. Is, I didn't show the story. I just showed a few runs here and there. So I'm going to get rid of this. And hey, you never know if there's a Legion classic one, one day. I'll have a new list with the story there but no plans for that <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Warzone this was originally Ali Allen's playlist and then some sexy house here uh, we should say Warzone content but I'm keeping everything in one where we have Call of Duty content there's no reason I have a separate list right now especially a dead playlist Got rid of Legion, Valorant. So we had some uh, 
Ali Allen play at the time, and well, I did play my first few games, and then oh, we had Jovi. But as of now, it's been dead. I'm not gonna reinstall it. I'm not gonna play that game. So it's out of here. Terra. It's sad, but this game's gone now. You can't even play it anymore. I was hoping to put all the dungeons listed in here, and then obviously hitting max level. And I mean, I was getting close, but a lot of other games came in the way. And huh, look at that quote, tear away forever. Who knows, maybe someone will revive it. There might be private servers, but I'm, I'm not interested in playing on private servers for any MMO. Because it shuts down and you lose everything. And I mean, I just lost a character for a game that I actually purchased back then before it came became free to play. I did get many hours, like probably 200, at least 200 at the time. Um, so there's Terra Pandaria, which same thing as earlier, Lich King Retail, we had Pandaria, Pandera, Pandaria, I don't know, how do you, how do you even, World of Warcraft, Mist of Pandaria, Mist of Pandera, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that. Either way, it's gone. Cataclysm Content Retail. This ha Okay, so yeah, I got some stuff from 2020. But this is definitely going because we might see a Cata Classic. And even if we don't, it doesn't matter. I hope we don't. I hope we just get Wrath of the Lich King Classic Plus. Uh, Warlords Draenor Retail Content. This is the worst, the worst expansion to ever release. In my opinion. Even the name is terrible. Uh, Anthem. Yeah, this is long dead in the water. But it did get... This is one of the first games because of all the glitches and all the problems that got us so many views and recognition. So I'm going to keep the playlist. And you never know. Maybe Bioware one day decides to do Anthem 2 and actually give it a proper... Give it proper support after. It was a really good game. It just sucks what happened. Star Wars, I do still have this installed. I beat the main story. There's a lot of DLC for it. I don't see myself playing them. But I'm going to keep the playlist just in case. Uh, Battle Royale content. Uh, there's no reason for this. If I ever play a Battle Royale game, it will have its own playlist. No reason to mix it. Sekiro, I still get views for this and comments for that. I do my best to help you guys. It's hard remembering this game. It's hard remembering Bloodborne because it was so long ago. And I know some people are recently playing them on P PC. DC Universe, I plan to put a bunch of dungeons here, but I didn't have time to play this game. But I think I did make it to level 13 at the time. Neverwinter, same thing. Last time I loaded this up, it just boosted me to max level. I'm like, okay, it kind of ruined the gameplay for me. Because I was playing on PlayStation and then PS5 gave me all these rewards. And I think it gave me a free boost. I loaded it on there. I didn't know what I was doing. I had all these items. I just, I didn't know what to follow the storyline. And I just said, I'm, I'm not playing Neverwinter. Even though it looked really like an old school EverQuest type of game. It was an MMO, obviously, but that's that. <coughs> so Neverwinter's gone. Neo, I still got Neo 2. Hardest games, one of the, man. Like, I hated my life playing this game. I was just like, when is it over? Am I going to beat it yet? So I'll definitely be playing Neo 2 and torturing myself with that. Elder Scrolls. Um, I got a lot of DLC to wrap up on that game. I don't know if I'll still post them here. I might. That's what kind of sucks. It's worrisome to post an older game with videos and then someone just get angry and just unsubscribe because it's such an old game. But I don't care. I'd rather keep the uh, the clips on there all in one playlist for reference. Anyone can come watch, enjoy it. Dark Souls. I know it's old and... If I was able to record this game back when I first played it on 360 and got the full 1000, 
the videos on there were way more epic than here and all, all of them were solo battles I did a lot of co-op this time to change up the game I, p I got the full thousand twice on this game I did it on 360 and I did it on PC so by the time I was playing on PS4 remastered I didn't want to do everything again and I think I still got like 70% of the achievements that and Dark Souls 2 <coughs> Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront, I've only had five videos. I had a really, really good video, a really good kill here. I remember shooting it down. Yup, there, there we go. <laughs> so it sucks. It only has eight views, but I really like that video. I, I hope, I hope we get a. A third game. I know the old school ones were better, but I'll keep that playlist in hopes that we get a third game. <clears throat> Free the Fury. This was a really good indie game. I don't know if I ever got any views. I never really checked. It looks like not really. But great game. If you haven't played it, you need to play this game, but it's irrelevant now. And then we got H Hour Worlds Elite. Unfortunately, another SOCOM clone game made by the SOCOM 2 devel uh, developer. And it still died out. So those questioning Sony, why they don't bring it back, which I'm one of them, I guess that's why. The fans don't keep it alive. E3 2017, this is just a memory, so I'd rather keep this playlist more for me. Dark so oh, and we did get a lot of views on that, yeah. Oh, that's what it was. It was uh, Evil Within 2. I had the first gameplay footage because I went to E3 and recorded it through their little haunted house. And I can just show that real quick, if you can see. So at the time, there hadn't been footage of how the game plays, how it shoot, how you shoot, and this showed it, and it looked like Resident Evil. So we we're supposed to just walk through it, but I stopped at the screens and just started recording. <laughs> Good times. All right, Dark Souls Three. I know that's old, but I got a lot of content on there, and from games are my favorite types, type of video games, RPGs. Dark Souls Two. See, like playing this back on the 360, I I've had so many, so much better experiences. If I was able to record, they would have been a lot more enjoyable, but. I still posted all the boss fights that I got into here, and I did it in co-op. Back then, I soloed everything possible. Full 1000 on 360 as well. Uh, when it was remastered on PS4, I just uh, got like maybe also around 70-80%. Uh, Bloodborne bosses, yep. Still see some people... See, the thing is, I separated them with Chalice Dungeons, and I know people still watch those. Metal Gear 5, there's no reason to keep this. But, hey, it's made by Kojima. We gotta remind people that every single mission, we gotta remind everyone that. So, we'll keep this playlist. <laughs> okay, so that took up a lot of time. A lot, and I'm sure people have gotten bored and just left by now, but, hey... I don't care. 
I wanted to do it while I'm recording and did it reduce it reduced a bit I don't see anything that I don't want on there now So it's a lot a lot less, a lot easier if someone comes check out what we got. They can just see certain game content here and there. So I like it. I like it. It's been trimmed down really nicely. And <clears throat> okay. That wraps that up. I got a few topics for today. So they're not all news content, but uh right here from IGN. Really great article. They always show everything that's announced at events. Excuse me. So just to go through these really quickly. Horizon Call of the Mountain. When I saw this, I thought it was the VR game. I'm not sure. Is it? Oh, it is PSVR 2. Okay. Not a big fan, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I do have VR 2 coming. Still didn't decide if I'm going to cancel or not, though. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, okay, we, we saw Among Us. It was uh, DLC, Destiny 2 Lightfall, the next expansion. Uh, I've already got that. Dune, I've got it pre-ordered. <clears throat> but uh, Dune, I have no clue. No clue what this game is about. It's just an in-engine trailer, no gameplay. Looks like, well, moving on, we'll wait till we hear more. I was never a fan of Fire Emblem games. I did play the mobile one, it was okay. Um, ra raids, raids in Call of Duty. I don't know how that's gonna work out. I don't care too much about it, but I will try it. If I can get footage, I'll get footage on that. <clears throat> oh, this reminds me of Okami, just looking at it. I'm going to try to skim through this fast and not play every single video, but anything I'm curious about. Okay, it's nothing to do with Okami. <laughs> I don't know, kind of giving me Dynasty Warrior vibes when I saw the uh, players. It looks interesting, though. I'll, I'll pay attention. Look out for what this is. Could it be some type of monster hunter type thing? Who knows? <clears throat> Colossal cave. Yeah, it doesn't interest me. Valiant Hearts. I think this already came home. Oh, I'll head it to Momo. Does not interest me. Dead Cells. Return to Castlevania DLC. Okay, nice. That looks like something fans of Castlevania will want to look out for. Vampire Survivals, mobile. You're going to see me just skip mobile games. Um, Replaced. Alternative 1980s. Yeah, sounds interesting. Oh, it's that game that looks ret that looks like it's not retro, but it is a retro type of game. Yeah, this this looks really interesting. After us, I think that looked kind of like Journey, if I remember correctly. Blue Protocol. They, these aren't my type of games, but hey, Amazon's making it. So far, I think Amazon hasn't made. Oh, they did make a League of Legends type of game that failed, but the rest have been good so far. Uh, Wild Rift or something is one of the good ones. Uh, what was the the other MMO? I just had it on my uh, playlist. It must not be good if I'm not remembering it right. Yeah. Why? Why is it? How did I just forget? <laughs> did I end up deleting that playlist? I didn't delete it. Let's see. New World. 
that's what it's called. But why am I not seeing New World? Did I delete it? Yeah, I must be really blind. Yep, it is highlighting it. Man, that's hard to see. Google needs to like somehow reorganize these playlists the format of it or maybe because I got dark dark background here so yeah that was another good game they made um, Gearbox announces Remnant 2 I didn't play the first one I'm not sure just go through these quickly first person Single player magic first person shooter, nice. Banishers, we saw. Transformers online action game for spoken demo. Oh, and that reminds me, I gotta put that for download to give it a try. If it's out, has been released, yep. So I'll make a video of that. Baldur's Gate 3, that's been an early access. Looks really good. I didn't get it myself. Game Awards Stage Crasher, that happened at the end. Um, Gen oh, that this is a big one I want to talk about. We'll get back to that topic about Genshin Impact. Returnal announcement for PC, Last of Us for PC. Those are great announcements for people who haven't played them. The Lords of the Fallen. This game is just... It was called Lords of the Fallen 2, and then they just added the... Which is really, which it's going to be really confusing. You got someone who's going to play this and then see the old one and then just be like, okay. <laughs> I hope they do a lot better, though. I gave up playing on the first one. I didn't like it too well. Crime Boss. <clears throat> Crime Boss uh, interests me. I, I was hoping it would be like a GTA type of game, but I doubt it will be like that. And also you got Chuck Norris in there. A few other uh, well-known faces. But we'll see. The graphics of the screenshots look nice, but I don't think we've heard of this developer. I don't. I, this might be their first game. The publisher obviously has been around. It says multiplayer, cloud save, single player. I hope it's good. I hope it does well because it, lo it does look interesting to me. And it's discounted. Discounted right now, thirty-one ninety-nine out of four. That's that's the other weird thing. It's it's coming out at that price point. It's like the developers don't have their own confidence in it, is what it's telling me. And for it to already be on sale is kind of strange. 323. But it might just be Epic Games offering it at a, at a cheaper price than their competitors. But I'm not sure if it's on Steam or not. Anyways, um, we can close that out. Hellboy. Yeah. Cartoony, we'll see how it turns out. Bayonetta Origins. I know uh, those games have been great lately. This looks like a different style. Celesto, people are a fan of that game. The new one, Earthblade. I never played it personally. Space Marine 2, nice. Crash Team Rumble. Uh, you, oh, wait, this isn't Sony anymore. This is Activision. Uh, they're trying something new. I get it. Maybe Crash 4 didn't do as well as they wanted they're trying something different it it doesn't seem like it will be as successful but you never know if they're doing like a smash brothers i think they need more characters like they should have went to went and got like spiral mixed with crash if if it's that type of game actually crash team a brand new 4v4 slide smash bump and bash team I don't know, it seems, it seemed like it had the tone of a Smash Brothers, but it might be something completely different. They should have probably invested in trying to get, like, uh, a bunch of other cartoony characters together, like Spyro. Uh, maybe go get Jack and Dexter, Ratchet, ask Sony for that. But then again, if they want to be multi-platform, they can't do that. And who knows if Sony is working on their own, once again. Horizon, Forbidden West, oh, we're already getting DLC. Well, not already. I mean, the game came out earlier in the year, so ma it makes sense. Tekken 8, Game Awards. Oh, interesting. I stopped playing back in maybe Tekken 4 and just started demoing them. 
That's what I mostly do with fighting games unless it's Mortal Kombat. And I know that the new Street Fighter got announced, Street Fighter 6, which is great. Uh, the movie, nice, it looks funny. Um, I don't know why the voice actor, they didn't just get the original voice actor, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know the reason for that. They should have probably done so. Um, not saying the act, the voice actor, he's, he's well known, but still, he doesn't sound like Mario. Suicide Squad, Killing the Justice, this is going to be a big one. It had a Batman uh, uh, reveal and a new release date. Rocksteady, finally, and there you go, Street Fighter VI. A lot of friends excited about that one. Diablo 4, I'm very excited about that one. Um, they're giving up, they're giving out the items actually now, if you, pr if you reserve it. They're giving out some wow mounts. But the pricing is just ridiculous on these PC games. It's like, okay, they know they can get away with it now, so they're, they're gonna higher the price. But this better be one hell of a game. Pun intended. Uh, this is a big one. This was one of our winners for one of the game of the years. The first part. Jedi Jedi Knight, I think it was called. Jedi Survivor. Definitely will <coughs> be playing that. Alright, and then we got Phantom Liberty. I know a lot of people excited about this one. including myself so uh, look, look forward to that that's stranding too it's not that I don't want the game it's that the way it was presented Kojima using his same old format same old format of having people watch his videos and try to put puzzles, pieces together. And I know there's fans that will still do that. But you are not as popular as you were with the Metal Gear franchise. And when you did it with Death Stranding 1. I remembered what you did with Metal Gear Solid 5. And then when that ca game came out. It was mostly all gameplay. And there was like cutscenes that repeated. It was a terrible experience but a great game terrible story experience and he uses the same methods the same storytelling methods to basically tell the same story again of oh it's connecting to this old msx game but play 80 hours to find out which was ridiculous but i still enjoyed metal gear but when death stranding came out he played those same old tricks again and released a game where you deliver 90 percent of the time at with 10% gameplay. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know it's fixed a lot. Uh, it's a lot better. The director's cut. But still. Tell us something. Tell us. Hey fans. Don't worry. You're going to enjoy this game. Not just. Not fans who played the first one. Hey gaming fans. Who played even Metal Gear. You're going to enjoy this one. It's not going to be a FedEx simulator. Like come on. I know the story looks interesting. And the story was interesting in part one, definitely. It was I enjoyed the story. But an 80-hour game that could have been 10 hours. Like, assure us. Give us some assurance on this game. Not throw out hints again and act like a drama queen. Because that's what Kojima does. Like, I don't know, man. When he came out and announced the... I should just stop talking. It's just... He came out and announced his podcast instead of announcing this back then, back at that time, which is when he should have announced it, in my opinion. And then talked more about it, or showed a gameplay trailer and talked more about it on, at the Game Awards. But instead he announced that he's doing a podcast. And I know there's Kojima fans, I was a Kojima fan, but once you get hit with disappointment, you're all out. Talk about the game. Let us know. Don't put hints and puzzles and try and make us solve some bullshit that we don't care about. Let's move on to a game that we know what we're getting. <laughs> Judas. 
I mean, I at least I hope we know what we're getting. It's a Bioshock type of game. It looks like Bioshock. Come on. Ken Levine has not disappointed me. He's made great games. Even w if people were disappointed with Bioshock Infinite, I still enjoyed the game. I actually recently went back to play the episodes uh, Return to Rapture, which, which were really good. I was surprised. Many years later playing it. Hades 2, I still didn't beat the first one, but... Yeah, you, I can recommend this. Anyone obviously has recommended it. From Software reveals Armored Core. I know this is for the fans. It's good, but I hope it will intrigue me as well. Or fans who are fans of the Souls games. But obviously, I don't want to see a Souls type of game come back where it's challenging, where it's this. Is it? No, stick to what made this game good, but also make it Make it good for newcomers, I guess. Final Fantasy 16. This was a big one. Uh, this just had an incredible trailer. If you're not hyped for this, like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I guess you're not a... I, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, and I thought it was good. Okay. And, uh, what, did I miss anything there? These are the actual r awards. Um... I'm not going to go into all the awards. Obviously, we know Alden Ring won and we know what happened as the conclusion. But what I do want to go into is this Player Voice Award. Excuse me. It's a ridiculous category. Like, why have it? Just put every game that ever came out in existence. <laughs> or put any game that's currently being played now. Go here. I can show you an easy way to do this. Go to store, go to stats. You might as well go to top sellers. Add all these games. Most played. Add all these games to that list while you're at it. Such a pointless list. Because when you do that, a game like Genshin Impact wins. A game that came out in 2020. And I know... It's a player voice. It's not meant to be game of the year. But come on. It should be meant to be game of the year list. For It should be meant for users to vote on games that came out this year. And it, I know it's pointless, but it's just logical. <laughs> Anyways, before, before they, they made it hidden... It looks like the red ones advanced to round two, and then round three had God of War, Elden Ring, maybe Call of Duty, maybe Final... No, I don't, I don't think it had Final Fantasy, but it had Genshin, it had Sonic, and we saw first Sonic was winning, and then Genshin Impact started winning, and then Sonic was second, and then they took off the results and said, tune in to see these results. And we had already saw the results, that it was Genshin Impact, but I guess not everyone saw it, but... Again, ridiculous award. I guess learn from your mistakes and don't put all these random nominees for people to vote on, especially games that are already released. Call it Player's Voice 2022 or Game of the Year or something. Or at least put, put whatever expansion came out this year. Anyways, that does it for the Game Awards. The last topic I was going to talk about um, is Eight Places. I thought this was really in, a really interesting article. Eight Places uh, the series can visit. And I only I only went through like four of them. So I don't know what else is on here. But I have a comment for some of them. So Return to Greek Mythology. This is perfect for a prequel. Give us the tie-in from God of War 3 to God of War Ragnarok. Show us exactly what happened after Kratos stabs himself. I know they said it through dialogue or explained what happened. and Or maybe they just said that we're, re re we're redoing it. But they keep referencing back in God of War Ragnarok. They keep referencing his days of Greek mythology. Or back in Sparta. So come back, let us know, or let us play between the events and him getting to Norse mythology. Or getting to the world, the whole area of God of War. 
uh, God of War or Norse mythology. So I agree. Return to Greek mythology. Do not return to Greek mythology for a new game. Let's see. They killed everyone, so obviously they want to see what it looks like now. That that is a good idea too, but for maybe for DLC to come back and see what what that world looks like now. Make things right by helping the Greeks. I guess the people there. Sirius can have him come back to Sparta. Oh, see your minutes all left behind. Well, a lot of what he's talking about here is probably going to happen, but for the people in for the people that are in Norse mythology. Artreus' journey into open world. Now, there's a part where he goes apart. I mean, spoilers. <coughs> Don't watch the rest of this because we're going into spoilers. So if you haven't beaten it, now's a good time to skip the video or come back. So at the end, he goes his separate way. And I think they're going to have a separate game with Artreus becoming Loki. Aging and then marrying... Uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, point is, have his own game. Great idea. And obviously, I maybe have like a B team creating that. They want him to leave the Norse realm. I don't know if that will be such a good idea, but whatever. Egyptian mythology. Um, This is where it's going, I think, based on that ending. And they show you that photo. And that's what I mean by people having hope. The people, So I think what's going to happen is the people in Egyptian mythology are going to invade Norse, invade that realm, and then, then uh, Kratos is going to defend the people there, and then people are going to like start praying to him and, and having hope that he'll save them from the Egyptian, uh, all the myth gods. Uh, Roman, I, I guess for the future, why not? I mean, Kratos can now become like what we see in Assassin's Creed, where he just goes through different times, and you see famous historic people. Persian mythology, okay. Aztec. Celtic. Focus on the fallout of North Norse mythology, and I think that's what's gonna happen. Is when it, when they bring in it, Egyptian mythology. And was that eight? I guess that was eight already. Okay. So very interesting topic, um, but it looks like it's not gonna happen for years. And my best bet will be Egyptian mythology. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I think this is going to be the longest one I do. I originally made these info casts in, hope that I do, in hopes that I do something short and just update the channel and maybe read a news article or two, but today I went on and on and on, so I don't expect everyone to go through every topic, but look, look forward to another one, and uh, they're going to be shorter than, than this for sure, unless there's some reason that keeps me talking, but... Even with a sore throat, I already lost my voice <laughs> talking and rambling on so long. Anyways, thanks again for joining me. Until next time.